The most common question asked in RuneScape is how do I make money? Welcome to Tutorial Island to Twisted Bow, a series where I start from scratch with nothing and farther the account each and every episode with questing, bossing, skilling, and combat. We will hopes to one day achieve the Twisted Bow. After watching this series, you should no longer ask yourself, how do I make money in RuneScape? Hey guys, what is up? It is No Help, and welcome to episode 30 of Tutorial Island to Twisted Bow. In the last episode, we got 99 crafting, and now we're going to kind of take it a little bit more serious. Um, I want to get my range to 75 so that we can get access to the blowpipe. I'm not sure even where this would be. Um... Yeah, 75 is access to the toxic blowpipe, so that is going to be the goal. I think I'm going to try doing Kurasks because they're a little bit more AFK. I can finish up my Iron Man that way. So let's go ahead and go to a Slayer Master and unlock the Broader Fletcher. Learn how to Fletch Broad. Uh, arrows with 52 Fletching, Broad Bolts with 55 Fletching, and Amethyst with 76 Fletching. 300 points, confirm. And now we have that unlocked. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and buy some of these Broad Bolts. Do they come in packs? Unfinished. You can only buy the unfinished in packs. Jesus Christ, I don't need Fletching XP, man. Oh yeah, Jax released the Halloween event today. Maybe I'll get, get it done on this account eventually. Just out of curiosity, the Armadil Crossbow is 31 million. And with these prices lately, I'm not going to take the risk. Jesus Christ, these are like 400k, but I'm probably going to buy them just because it will help a little bit. Alright, so we're going to Karasks, as I've said, to get from 71 to 75 range. I hope this should be decent enough gear. I know it's not definitely the best ever, but it could be. I don't even know if we have enough like supplies to last us the whole way, but uh, let's test this out for a few hours. I wanted to go somewhere where you can at least make a bit of money, right? All right, so right here is the safe spot. We're just going to be here for a little bit, train our range up, like I said, and hopefully make a decent amount of money. We have Elks when they do drop the Runite items. Oh, completed a combat task. And they also drop a ton of nature runes as well. And we have the loot tracker on the side here, and we can just keep attacking more of them. It should be fairly AFK, something that I can go ahead and do for the next few days and get ourselves a blowpipe so we can go ahead and tackle Jad. Wow, that actually came a lot quicker than I honestly thought. I love it here, man, at the Kurosks. It is so freaking chill. I didn't use a single piece of food. We're up to 75 range. We can actually go ahead and buy a blowpipe now, which is just freaking massive. And we've made a decent amount of money. I'm going to go ahead and quickly price check everything right now. So just some of the Renars. We obviously couldn't pick them all up, which is pretty sad because we could have made a lot more money. But just in, uh, like, let's just go with the drops first. So let's go throw ahead all of these in here right now. And we start with 1,000 nature runes. So we got 1,749 that we can add into the price checker. 1,749. So this is coming out to 1.6 million. And then we add the rest in here. So we've made 3.3 .3 million at the Kurusk so far. And obviously we gained from, what was it, like 71 or 70 range to 75. I'm actually going to stay here for a little bit just because I'm finishing up the Iron Man maxing. Well, we hit 75 range and uh, actually almost 76 at this point. We, I've, I love this spot. Oh, I guess it's still Halloween. Jesus Christ. Look at this collect. I'm not going to sell the nature runes or anything like that yet. I probably will sell the big bones and this nice little iris seed here and collect that. So 3.8 million, Jesus Christ. I'm going to keep the flax as well because it's one of those things that's 11k. Might as well just keep it. Um, can we buy the blowpipe with this toxic blowpipe empty? Ooh, exactly 3.8 million. Um, can we confirm it? Not going to sell. All right, so I still have some stuff to do on the Iron Man account, so I'm going to go back to Karasks and make a lot more money, boys. Back to the dopamine trees. Let's go. I think we're actually going to get a really cool level here, 70. Next tree, of course, but let's freaking go. This is such a cool level to get. You have reached level 70 in the farming skill. 
Oh shit, I just missed the level up. Insert screenshot and uh, 47 Hunter. I'm also going to buy like another 3,000 uh, broad bolts, which is going to cut into the, uh, I guess, revenue technically from this method, but uh, we're still up a lot. So over the last like two, three days, I've killed 1,245 Karasks. And as you can see, it has been about 5.3 million. It's been a crazy amount of good drops, seeds, alkables. All right, so we're actually kind of done now um, killing Karask. So I'm going to go ahead and sell everything. And then we're going to work on some questing. Oh, this is so satisfying. Collect. We're at 2.3 uh, million right now. Sell off these white berries and this uh, seed right here. And we're going to keep the flax just because it's pretty much worthless. So another 2.4 million to add. Oh, okay. So I'm doing Dream Mentor Quest right now. And if you bring potatoes, onions, and cabbage in sacks, you can do this a lot easier for the fallen man instead of bringing like sharks or something. It's also, eh, could be cheaper as well. After feeding the man about like 30 pieces of food, he's finally up. Um, this is so funny. So you have to like pick a setup from this guy's so-called bank. He has some pretty nice items and give it to this guy. But look at this. We have a dragon med helm, Arum's top and bottom. So we've got melee, magic, and range boots with a whip. Makes sense. This is actually hard. I died my first time just bringing in melee. I had no idea what I was doing. But uh, we might have, we should have maybe brought some more food. Because I can't even get out of here now. Um, but I think there's like five bosses. So I don't think we're going to be able to do this. But we got to try. Wait, am I actually safe spotting this one? I think I am. Maybe we got this, boys. So this next boss is a little pussy, and he keeps, like, running away. I can get, like, two hits on him. And then just, oh, maybe not even if we splash, of course. And then he'll, like, go underground. So I th think we're good. So the next thing I need my seal of passage for, and I actually died, like I was saying, with the melee setup. So it looks like I'm gonna have to go get another one. But thank God for the mainscape, we can just use a teleport right back. All right, this should actually be the end of the quest. Really wasn't too long, especially if I didn't die there the first time. It would have been probably done in like at least 30 minutes or so, but it probably took me about 40, 45. This guy is happy or whatever. And this is a really good one to knock out of the way because you unlock seven new spells. So there we go. You have completed Dream Mentor. You're rewarded with two quest points, new lunar spells, seven new ones, 15 hit points experience. 10,000 uh, experience in magic, which is awesome. Up to 202 quest points now. Miles, go away, please, buddy. And uh, we have a dreamy lamp. Uh, you rub the lantern and a little voice speaks to you. Uh, what do you want? Did this just talk? Yes, yes, skip the dialogue, skip the dialogue. So we get to choose what we want to use it on. And so we can either do strength, range, magic, hit points, or defense. I think I'm gonna go with magic, actually. Let's see how much experience this is. 15,000 magic as well. And that is a total of, yeah, almost 30k magic gained. So, yeah, not too bad. On to the next one. All right, I'm going to do a Cold War. We need 34 construction, so let's go knock that out. <laughs> Look at the lovely house. So let's go to, um, where is it? Building mode. Jesus Christ, I don't know how to do this with the new uh, RuneScape settings here. Let's turn building mode on, and uh, I guess go ahead and build a kitchen, because that's where we're going to be making oak larders. So kitchen, I think that's the one. Yeah, we'll build this one up. And we got some oak larders that we can go ahead and build. I think this is like a really good method to actually train construction all the way to a certain amount. Oh, first one, 34. I had to make another room in the POH to make the clockwork toy. I completely forgot about that, so that took some extra time from to do this quest as well, but I guess we have it now. Uh, go back to Larry. Jesus. This part of the quest never actually made sense to me, where you go ahead and talk to this guy, and then he pretty much turns you... What? I'm so fucking confused. Oh, tuxedo time with Larry. Look at this shit. You turn right this small, and then you, like, walk into a penguin outfit, and then you're a penguin. <laughs> like, maybe it's a spell or something, but, uh, interesting. All right, so you just had to steal the, the cowbell from the, the cow, and for some reason, when I was a young kid, I don't know what thieving requirement you want to, you need to do this, but when I was a kid, I was like, one day, I'm going to steal that cowbell. 
Now, am I crazy or was, was this one of like the agility methods people actually used? I think, is it this one has like the best chance of the pet or something like that? I mean, I could be totally wrong, but I feel like people actually used this course. 80 XP. Hmm. Let's see what we get for the final drop of it. But uh, it is interesting. It's like the monkey course in a way where you get to be, instead of like your regular player, you get to be a fucking penguin. So... And it could be more like fun in a way and it's like a nice environment so let's see if this is actually like worth doing maybe not how do you get through these icicles oh it's just like your level i guess all oh, this part would be fucking annoying i can already tell if you were to do this like long term yeah okay what is this the olympics are we actually gonna get like a decent amount of agility xp for this because if so it could be nothing Oh, talk to this guy. Maybe this is what it is. Talk to the agility instructor. I swear to God, this was a real course. But maybe I'm just, like, hallucinating. Okay, yes, it's a real course. Your penguin agility lap count is one, so that means I can do it again. Alright, this one's gonna actually feel really good to get over with because it was really annoying to go ahead and do this. Like, the penguin suit in and out all the freaking time. I know there's a few penguin quests, which kind of sucks, but, uh... It is a cool storyline, but at the same time, it's just like, get this quest over with. Okay, they're making a big penguin suit. Anyways, you have completed the Cold War, access to the Iceberg, 5,000 agility, uh, 2,000 crafting experience, and 1,500 construction. That actually could be a level. Yeah, 35 construction coming right in. Let's go do another quest. We didn't do Eagle's Peak. Are you kidding me? I guess we'll do that. Well, Eagle's Peak is now completed. Two quest points, 2500. The Eagle Transportation System, an ability to use box traps. That might be useful if we ever want to do like Black Chinchampas in the future. Which one is next? All right, I haven't not been looking forward to any of the Mauritania quests because they're just terrible, man. But anyways, you have completed In Search of the Mary. Two quest points, access to the hollow, 600 experience in attack, defense, strength, and hit points, and crafting 207 quest points. Ah. <sighs> and coming in with 87 fletching. In aid of the Mirik, this is why I freaking hate these quests so much. They're just, they're just so long, they're dark, they're miserable. Oh. Okay, this one actually sucked. This was a solid hour. I mean, I wasn't obviously doing it most efficient way possible, but uh, I hope this is it. I think I'm done for the Mauritania quest for tonight. <laughs> You are rewarded with two quest points, access to Berg de Rot, access to Temple Tracking, 2000 experience in attack, defense, strength, and crafting, so it wasn't even really worth doing. Jesus Christ, so what now? How am I going to be starting another one probably here? Ugh. Actually, maybe I will do Darkness of Hallowvale. Now, I'm a little curious about this quest here, the Darkness of Hallowvale, because I remember the, the part of it that was actually annoying was doing the agility obstacle, which is like getting through the whole town, which is cool, but now with the quest helper, it might be completely brain dead. If you guys ever did this quest, where you had a Slayer music video pulled up to the side following him step by step, the, you're an, a real OG quester and if you got the quest cape i actually no word of a lie got the quest cape before quest helper plugin came out so i feel like it's acceptable for me to use this at this point because i've already done it so many times i did it on rs3 and stuff like that as well so like it's just nice to have this now but it was really it's really cool to watch like a slayer music video on the side and be like okay he clicked there Okay, next. Oh, fuck, I messed up. It just, it's, you know, like this, you can't mess up, right? It's just, it's, eh. it kind of makes me sad at the same time because questing is just so easy now. I mean, it still takes a long time to do all the quests and they're annoying and whatever, but something like this, the darkness of Hallowvale, just really seems like it's just given to you. I really hope this is the end of the quest, man. This one has been forever. I thought it was going to be really easy, but the puzzles was just half of the bad part. Oh, please tell me this is it, man. Is this not it? Go to the surface. Please, Sarah Doman, let me be over this quest. Let's freaking go. Come on, come on, come on. Please tell me that's everything. What? To bring the letter? Oh my god, this is why I hated this quest. 
Finally, you have completed the Darkness of Hallville, 2 quest points, 7,000 agility, 7,000 thieving, 2,000 construction experience, and a tome of experience. Let's go. We might even get a level here, 36 construction, common right in, and we have a tomb that we can use on any skill in the game. So what should we use it on realistically? Probably like agility, right? But let's just check how much construction would this give me? 2k? Is it 2k each or something like that? I feel like I should just like use it on construction. I know this is like stupid to do like long term, but like I need some freaking construction levels so that we can just push 38 construction. We could have used it on like herbal or two. I'm probably in the Iron Man mindset, but we could we could have used that on agility or something like that. But I don't really mind training agility in the future. Okay, this quest honestly I thought was gonna be like 10 minutes and it ended up taking me a very long time. I hope this is the end of it and then we just use the bones on the pestle of mortar and then hopefully, I swear to god, this better be the end of the quest, man. This actually took me so long. What? Oh no. Please god, tell me this is it, man. I've been so sick of questing. I've been doing it for like four hours now i think i just have to use all these crystals on here let's put the run on because fuck this and we use the purple crystal here i literally thought this quest was going to be taking like 10 minutes like i said but it's apparently a long quest but anyways uh it does provide four quest points which is really cool but at the end of the day it's just like fuck man i just wanted to go to bed but i guess i'm going to be questing but anyways Pull the lever to finish the quest. Let's freaking go. And 15k magic. You have completed the watchtower. Four quest points, 15,000 magic experience, 5,000 coins, and access to the watchtower teleport spell. 215 quest points now. Hey, so a magic level coming in with 74. Okay, cool. So now we have... Uh, Let's just quickly check this. 200 or a 112 out of 154 completed. We made a shit ton of progress in this video. Sorry if this video is super long. If you guys went ahead and watched the whole video, go ahead and comment 112 down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya later.